There was six of us and we were just hanging out in the restaurant after hours and we all grew our own food. And we decided that everybody in the world should grow their own food and if we did and grew a little more, we could eliminate world hunger. We, we did the math, it was, it was easy, this is what we could do. So we laughed and we thought, oh, this is a great idea. just got word from Aviva that We Grow Food has been granted the $10,000 to build the greenhouse at Alexandra's Bounty. Awesome news. People have already started to text in and message in saying that they're super excited. We want to thank everybody for their votes. Oh, yeah. And that's how community works, right? We all get together. So, so. <laughs> I love that. Uh, it's fantastic. We're excited. Great Programming, um, we'll start building it in April. Um, it will be a community build. We will have one person there who knows what they're doing and then all of us um, supporting I, that. I'd like to believe it was me, but it's not. No, I love you, but no. You just said that? I, that's the second time I've said that now, Michelle. So I was born and raised just a few blocks from here. 58 and I'm still back in the same neighborhood. So this, this is South Oshawa, um, and it's always had this real stigma attached to it. You know, there's a lot of high density, low income neighborhoods, and it's just, it's never, it's never really been looked at as a very favorable neighborhood. But we find that this neighborhood is excellent for the projects that we do because, not because they're low income, but these, in this, these neighborhoods, People are outside. You know, if you go to um, some of the other subdivisions, you know, the middle class, nobody's outside. No. You know, the kids aren't playing on the streets. Here, everybody's outside. I mean, obviously not today because it's raining, but in the summertime, mm -hmm. it's just such a bustling neighborhood. And I like it. We're gonna get started in these. They hold 72, and we're gonna fill those with soil. Um, and then we're gonna start the planting. So I think we'll fill a whole bunch of them, and then we'll start um, putting the seeds in. It is known that if you get soil under your fingernails, it does release the happy hormones, so being connected to the earth. But if you don't wanna get your hands dirty, we do have the gloves. Uh, we are at the South Patch and we are planting. There's a group of uh, Let's turn it around for them, eight right? or so of us. Look at it. Holy jeez. Just give us a little hello. hello. Look at that face. Right? Hey, we got, we got some new uh, We Grow Fooders. We got Ryan standing here. It is important to feed the soil as it is to feed ourselves. Mm -hmm. And with the greenhouse, we're really working to try and create a space where people can come all year round. The We Grow Food philosophy when we first started was, this garden is yours. You can take from it. You don't have to help. We want you to help, mm -hmm. but you can still take. There are no conditions. There's no judgment. It's six years old, which people are going to say, Wow, six years old, that means that it's pretty strong. It's good. But how do we keep that whole philosophy of sharing alive, but still inspire people that for strong communities to survive, we all need to participate. The yeah. number one question people ask us is, don't you guys make money? Like, how do you live? Yeah. But we did start the table soups up. And uh, that just gives us that little bit of, you know, a little bit of income to be able to do the gardens, to be able to do the stuff that we love and giving back yep. as much as we do. I was adding up the other day and we make, I mean, I make about the same as I did when I was in university. Which is not much. It's not. <laughs> and yet, I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Like I feel like my life is, is full. 
I could do this one in less than eight. Go. Because it's so skinny. Two, three, four, five. You're not even getting it all. That's why. So we do grow some of our own things. This was more for fun. All herbs and everything going around. We grew a lot of food here. We did. We did grow a lot of food. Yeah, we did grow a lot of food. So even though we have all the gardens and we can pick and choose whatever we want, um, it's still nice to grow your own. This was the lettuce that you buy that has, it's a red uh, lettuce and another one, and then celery, more green onions, and then these are garlic. You know how your garlic sometimes gets the little green sprout on it? Planted it, put a hole in it. Oh, there you go. They're doing all right. See the roots coming through there? Wow, look at the roots. Yeah, wow. I never saw that. I love watching things grow. It brings me like an incredible well, amount of joy. We were doing the, the lights yesterday and just setting them up and she was just beaming. It's like, honestly, like she won a brand new car. So she's, or will be at the end of the day, she'll be like, what are you watching right now? And I'll be like, I'm watching on how to propagate or I'm watching on how to do this and that. And she goes, oh my God, seeds are like your porn. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, is that inappropriate? You yeah. can always cut that out. Right. That's fine. Um, but anyway. So that's what I like. Ultimately, my goal is to make sure people don't go without, you know? I want them to have a place they can go, they can prick some fresh food, it's healthy, place to go that they can enjoy. Some kids will go to school and that's their safe place. Some people go to work and that's their safe place. And everybody needs a place to go that just feels, you know what? They don't have to worry. I've lived in Whitby, I've lived in Pickering, kind of bounced around. And then, then I moved out and I was on my own at like 16. So I was just a very mature kid. So for me, living on my own was not really a big deal. Sometimes, you know, when we go through things, because we've gone through them, you know, you understand what that person is going through because you've already lived it. I don't believe in miracles because everything that happens that we would call a miracle are just normal things that happen that we're, we're just now acutely aware of. Having a spiritual practice mm. makes all the difference in my day. I came out when I was 40. Um, I was asked not to come back to the church. And I was like, okay. So, and I, I wasn't hurt. I wasn't hurt because religion really doesn't mean that much to me. Um, I liked going to church because it was an hour of peace and quiet. I had four kids and, you know, I remember taking my kids aside and I said, I've been asked not to come back to church, but I want you guys to make your own choices. It doesn't matter to me. Like, my friend's coming with me wherever I go. We are in a fear-driven society. People say to us, well, don't you get vandalism? Six years, six years. And all these gardens that we've put in, not one garden's been vandalized. Well, people are going to steal your... Uh, well, you can't steal what's yours. That's what we teach people. That we can trust more than we even know. <laughs> all right, well, Sunshine's here, and we are all here. And We're oh. set up, and we are ready to go. Now, how are we breaking up what people are doing, or is it just going to be... I'd like to light up the saw and maybe start with the base. Okay. If I had the base all ready to go, then people can start with cattle balls right away and start putting those up. Got to get this greenhouse built today. Good morning. One of my neighbors and Tyler's the lead on the project. Hello, and hey, buddy. He's just looking at me like, I don't even know you. Like, don't even tell me what you do.
happens when you give an executive tools? <laughs> So these are um, five or six different varieties of tomatoes, and the cups are there just because I didn't have sticks to write on to say what kind of tomatoes they are, so they're all tomatoes. And then I planted spinach in these because that grows well with tomatoes, and then we did uh, three different types of lettuce in that one. It's a, a joyful thing when you know that people come here and just feel so comfortable and so peaceful. And, um, and I think that everywhere we go, we just seem to be able to create those spaces. And um, even though it started out as intentional to create spaces that have that, when it becomes a part of who you are and who you've become, those spaces just naturally happen. I don't think there's ever a time that we go home that we don't say the same thing. We feel full. Here, Paisley, are you ready for some seeds? <laughs> 